Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks, and in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how you can apply conditional formatting to highlight cell values that meet a certain criteria. I'm going to be using the inventory analysis report that my friend Alan Friedman created. I've used this in several lessons. What I want to be able to do is I want to be able to apply a certain formatting to the cells that meet a condition. In other words, I have my gross profit percentage calculated over here. So for electric guitars, the format or the, the formula is to take the gross profit dollars for that category and divide it by the total sales for that category. What I want to be able to do is I want to be able to highlight the cells in this range that are above my target. So my target gross profit percent is 35%. I want to use conditional formatting, which in Excel 2007, Excel 2010, you find on the Home tab of the ribbon. Now, if you use an Excel 2003 or earlier, I'll be demonstrating how to apply conditional formatting later on in the lesson. So our first step is to select the cells to which we want to apply conditional formatting. Now, notice that I did not select the cell that contains the total. So I select the cells that I want to apply conditional formatting to. Home tab of the ribbon, and over here in the conditional formatting drop-down menu, what I want to be able to do is come through, and in the category of highlighting cells rules, notice that it's built in. Highlight cells that are greater than, that are less than, that are between, that are equal to. So really the, the rules are fantastic over here, the way this has been streamlined. So I want to highlight the cells that meet a certain criteria. I want them to be greater than, and instead of typing in a constant value, what I want to do is I want to point to a cell that contains that value. Now I can use one of the built-in uh, formats over here, or I could go through and I could create a custom format. So why don't I do that? What I want to do is I want to apply a background fill to the cells that meet that condition. Click OK, and there you go. So now you see the cells that have values that meet the condition, they are greater than 35% are highlighted. And notice that this is dynamic. So should I go through and increase the value of sales to 500,000? Notice that now the conditional formatting has been applied to that cell value. Let's use Control Z to undo that. Now, what if I wanted a, a rule that wasn't built in? In other words, you saw that when I apply conditional formatting, one of the rules that I can use is cells that are greater than or less than, but if, what, I, what if I want them to be greater than or equal to this value? In other words, two and a half turns per year. Well, what we'll do is we'll create a new rule. So now for the new rule over here in the dialog box, and it will take you some time to go through and read these and understand it. I don't want to format all cells based on their values. I want to format only the cells that contain a cell value that is, and from the drop-down list of operators, greater than or equal to, and again, resist the temptation to type in a constant value. Point up here to a cell that contains the value. So there is my condition. Now let's apply a formatting to it. So let's select this formatting, click OK, click OK, and there you go. So when I have cells that are, in this case, greater than or equal to, I created a rule. And again, this is dynamic. Let's just again come over here and say 750,000. And you see how that will change in all of the different conditional formats that I've set in there. Let's use Control Z to undo that. Now, one of the really, really great uh, improvements in conditional formatting that, that began with Excel 2007 is that it's very easy, without having to actually write a formula, be able to highlight the cells that meet the condition of being above average. So once again, I'm making my selection of the cells that I wish to apply conditional formatting to, home tab of the ribbon, conditional formatting, uh, uh, 
menu over here and I want to highlight cells that are in the top or bottom rules above average. Click OK and this time let's take one of these um, built-in uh, rules over here. Click OK click OK. So again I'm going to label this that here I'm highlighting cells that are above the average for gross profit uh, dollars. Very very simple very easy to use. Now let me do one more uh, indication of conditional formatting in Excel 2007 Excel 2010 before I go over to Excel 2003. Here our target is $1.75. We want to see cells that are in the top range for gross margin return on investment. So remember the formula is gross profit dollars for this category electric guitars divide it by the average inventory for that category. So in this case I'm going to select the cells and I want to be able to get the top five performers. So I'll highlight the cells and I want to be on the home tab conditional formatting and in the top bottom rules what I want to do is I want to use the category called top 10. Now it doesn't have to be 10 in this case I want the top five and what I want to be able to do is apply a custom format to it. I'll use this as the shading. Click OK. Click OK and then click away from it. So there you see the top five and again it's dynamic. Alright now let me switch over here to Excel 2003. So in Excel 2003, we go through and we apply the first step, the same as we did with Excel 2007, Excel 2010. I highlight the cells that I wish to apply conditional formatting to, but this time it's on the format tab of the ribbon, and uh, format, <laughs> format menu, I should say. Now notice over here that in conditional formatting, our choices are limited to the cell value is or the formula is. So I'm going to use the cell value is from the drop down I'm going to say in this case greater than or equal to come over here highlight that cell and then that's the condition now set the formatting why don't we use uh, this light yellow click OK click OK and there you go now how about achieving the above average for the gross profit dollars. Here it's a little bit more complicated but really not that difficult once you understand it. So remember I'm in Excel 2003 so I highlight the cells that I want to see the cells that are above average. Once again format tab of the ribbon conditional formatting and this time I'm going to use the formula is. Now remember that all formulas begin with the equal sign. I want to move this dialog box away. I want to point to the cell that is the first cell in this range. Now notice that by default Excel makes that reference absolute. If I use the F4 key to cycle through I want to make that a relative reference. So I want to see where the cells beginning with the first cell are greater than and I'm going to use the average function left parentheses and now I'll make my selection of all the cells in that range and this time Excel does correctly apply absolute cell references with the dollar signs in front of the rows and the columns so there's my condition and now let's set the formatting let's use this as our background color click OK click OK and now you see. So there are the cells that are above average. I use the formula is over here. I use the cell is and I use the operator greater than or equal. Now what do we do when we want to remove conditional formatting? It's really fairly simple. In Excel 2003 again highlight the cells where you want to remove the uh, conditional formatting. Format conditional formatting and in this case what we want to do is we want to just click and say delete and then notice that there are multiple conditions that we can apply in conditional formatting. So in this case we only applied the first condition so highlight it and then click OK. What do we do when we want to remove conditional formatting in Excel 2007, Excel 2010? It's actually a lot easier. We don't even have to make a selection. What we can do is again home tab of the ribbon 
conditional formatting and in this case we want to clear the rules since we didn't make a selection in this case I want to clear the rules from the entire worksheet click OK and there you go so if you would like to receive uh, this spreadsheet you can go over to the uh, website for Friedman Kannenberg which is www.fkco then go over onto the resources tab seminar handouts and then click on the worksheet that you wish to download in this case it's this worksheet over here if you would like to learn more about conditional formatting and other tips for Excel 2007 go to my online shopping center where I sell five and a half hours of focus training the 50 best tips for Excel 2007 and I will look for you in the next lesson